I did a little Ulta order. Unfortunately, one of the items did come in completely busted. Um, but they're gonna send me a replacement, so no love lost. But I figured that I would show you some of the things I picked out um, because they are, you know, kind of um, like my holy grails, very standard in my routine. I will also be showing you uh, some of my other favorites um, that I didn't get in this particular haul. So, in general, we're just going to be talking about makeup to make things short and sweet. So, if that sounds interesting to you, then just keep watching. I'm going to start off with something very near and dear to my heart. Um, I went on a date with a lady, um, it was a while ago. Not too long ago, you know, several months, um, and she made me laugh because when she saw me, um, one of the first things <laughs> she said to me was, you must really like eyeliner, um, and she was right. So, the first items I got were two eyeliners. Um, this is the Hyper Easy Eyeliner from Maybelline. I am a sucker for a nice felt tip eyeliner. You know, kind of like the marker style. I feel like you have so much more control that way. Um, it's just my favorite applicator. Um, the brushes I can use a brush, um, but I don't really like it. Um, and of course, I got them in pitch black because I need my eyeliner to be super, super dark. Um, so I did get two. I'm not sure if the promotion is still going. If you buy, like, I think, two Maybelline products, you got one free, something like that. Um, but they usually have some sort of promotion going at all times anyway. Another good uh, liquid eyeliner is this one from NYX. This is the Epic Ink Eyeliner. My eyeliner with today. It's the same concept. Get the top off. It has the marker, felt tip, tip, um, and it looks like shit because I've used the hell out of this. I really, really like this eyeliner. Most of the makeup I'm gonna be showing you tonight is gonna be like drugstore products because that is mostly what I use um, especially in this economy what the fuck um, but let's say you do want to splurge a little I love this eyeliner this is from Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Rihanna I've heard so many people say her name different ways But when I watch her interviews, she says her name Rihanna, so I'm gonna call her Rihanna But I love this eyeliner I kind of save it for special occasions um, But it's super black It stays on I'm kind of embarrassed about this, but one day I did sleep in my makeup um, and my 
eyeliner still looked amazing the next day when I used this. If you watched one of my other makeup videos, I think it was the Hits and Misses one, I talked about a Huda Beauty foundation that I bought. Um, I spent okay money on it, you know, I bought it from Sephora and I absolutely hated it. That's probably my least, like, favorite foundation ever. It's soft ass. But today I'm gonna be more positive and I'm gonna show you my favorite foundation, okay? So, I did get two of them because the sale and because I like to almost get a custom shade. I like to mix foundations uh, because my skin does tan pretty easily. It's almost kind of laughable, like the shade range I have in my makeup box. I'll just show you one because the bottles are the same. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. It says it's active wear and you can get up to 30 hours of wear. I don't recommend anyone wearing their foundation for 30 hours, but this does stay on so good. I love the finish it gives on the skin. I would say um, it's like medium to full coverage. It's definitely not a light coverage foundation. So if you want like a very like light tinted moisturizer kind of feel, don't get this. I've been wearing this foundation for God knows how long. Um, and honestly, it's never broken me out. I love how it makes my skin look. Um, you can get it at any drugstore, so it's super convenient to get. The shade range is also pretty good. So hopefully a decent amount of people can find their shade in this foundation. Want to apologize if you can hear my neighbor's dog. He's pissed off about something and has been barking all day. But keeping with like the skin makeup sort of theme, I also got a little sponge to apply my foundation. A little beauty blender type sponge is my preferred way to apply foundation. I know some people like a brush, your fingers. There are no rules to makeup, so whatever you like, you do. This is just my favorite way. I use it damp, um, and it just really blends it in really beautifully, flawlessly, and I feel like the damp sponge, it um, also prevents it from getting really cakey. Next up, I have the Master Prime by the Studio Primer Base, and it's supposed to blur and smooth. I love these primers from Maybelline, the Face Studio. They have different ones depending on what your needs are. I like this one because it makes my skin almost look like it has a filter on it. Um, there's another one. Um, it's like a green base that I also really like. It does a good job of minimizing pores as well. Um, but the green one it's so amazing. Um, if you have any redness in your skin, it completely takes it away. And the cool thing about 
about these primers is that they make your foundation look really amazing um, but let's say you want like um, a no makeup makeup day um, you can wear these alone and it just makes your skin look really like baby soft and smooth you guys know I'm a fiend for a fun eyeshadow look and I've had a decent amount of people ask me how to make their eyeshadow pop and besides a good primer the trick to making any eyeshadow pop and look vibrant is this little NYX jumbo stick in the color no no bullshit I've been using this product like since they released it um, it's one of my most repeatedly bought things you just put it on and kind of blend it out and it really takes your eyeshadow to the next level I like to get the color milk um, but I also get the black one you can keep it in this little stick form it sharpens perfectly fine but me being the queen of recycling <laughs> um, and for ease of use this is kind of embarrassing if you recognize this this is in fact the iconic dream matte mousse container I wore like the most orange shade of this in high school um, and I kept the container because I love this container it's like airtight nothing dries out in it um, and I figured why not reuse it um, so I depot a little milk eyeshadow stick into this um, it looks pretty rough and empty right now hence why I had to get a new stick my method for depotting the stick is to <laughs> I grab it with some pliers um, then I set this container open obviously on a surface um, I get a hair dryer and I just melt it into this container um, it comes out pretty fast turns to liquid then you let it set I prefer to use a brush to apply it it just it lets me control how much I use the shape all that jazz this is one that I actually haven't tried out yet it is the retractable brow pencil by Wet n Wild I've never really had a terrible brow pencil now that I think about it um, I've had some really good ones but honestly most brow pencils kind of do the same thing I got it in the color I think it's medium brown I think that this one is gonna work just fine um, wet and wild it's pretty affordable but their products are actually really really quality I also picked up a lipstick from one of my favorite drugstore brands Milani Milani like never disappoints me I love the price point I love the pigment um, smells good too <laughs> and I picked it up in color number 17 which is plum rose the last category of makeup that we're gonna go through is gonna be my face mask 
I can't wear any makeup that day for whatever reason. I want to wear mascara. I just love it. So, I talked about this one for years. If you've somewhat followed me, um, this is not a surprise. I reacted on the Colossal. This is the washable classic black. I love the brush on this one. It just separates um, so beautifully. It really makes every lash stand out. So my routine is I start with this mascara to really separate my lashes and coat them and then I'll use like a, a more volumizing mascara to really, you know, bulk them up um, oh, and another tip if you want to kind of build your lashes, I guess, before you put this on um, a good tip is to take your translucent powder really like pack it onto your lashes. It coats your lashes in like a layer of powder. Gives them a bit more bulk. So when you go to apply this mascara, it's like almost like building bonds on your lashes. This, um, they were having some sort of like giveaway free sample thing. I Never use this. This is the Sky High mascara from Maybelline. Um, I tend to stick to my usual one, um, but this looks kind of fun. I'll show you the brush. Well, my loves, we've reached the end of this ASMR video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you have any video ideas or requests for me, feel free to let me know. And I would also love it if you have any drugstore makeup um, recommendations for me. I'm always looking to try something fun and new. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video.